Investigators hope the deep waters of Mutiny Bay will bring conclusions to the surface, and there are so many questions. You know, the big question is, is just how intact is the wreckage? Uh, we know that the plane was intact when it uh, hit the water uh, from witness testimony. Because there was no cockpit voice recorder or flight data recorder on board, investigators will have to piece together this puzzle from whatever they can salvage from the bottom of Puget Sound. Veteran aviation consultant Scott Hamilton. It, it is like an autopsy of the wreckage. Equipment from the University of Washington's Applied Physics Laboratory helped find the wreckage and took this image, but it only tells a tiny fragment of the story. Experts say it appears the wings and perhaps the tail are not attached. A remote camera will be sent down to take a deeper look. Hamilton says the plane had been serviced not too long ago and certain parts of the control system were replaced. One of the things that they're certainly going to do is to, to look to see whether or not the, these parts were recovered and do any metallurgical tests on the parts to see if perhaps they were defective in some fashion. Uh, they'll do what they can to try to see whether or not they were installed properly or improperly. Then there is the matter of retrieving the nine people still inside. One body was already recovered the day it crashed. Despite having the depth of 190 feet, Hamilton says water recoveries are manageable. He points to the 2009 crash of Air France Flight 447 in the Atlantic Ocean. The People recovered uh, the wreckages there and whatever remains happen to be there. And so this is not an unknown recovery effort. Once they have the wreckage and as much of the wreckage as they can locate and, and recover, uh, they, they are usually able to come up with uh, an answer. The recovery teams begin their work here first thing tomorrow morning. They will work 24 seven around the clock until their mission is complete. The NTSB says the investigation could take up to two years. Live on Whidbey Island, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.